Okay, here we are back inside Matrix School once again. Thanks for tuning in. Hope the videos are helping you in your designing process. If they are, please smash that subscribe button, tap on that notification bell for further content. Leave me a like and uh, please leave a comment. Take five seconds to drop a comment in there. If you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee, you can go down here just around this area. There's a super thanks button. You can uh, click on that and donate a cup of coffee and keep me awake a little longer. <laughs> uh, had some, a question on the YouTube channel about the lines, right? The thickness of the lines. And I've talked about, I think, in other videos, but they were kind of like maybe inside a larger video. So this is going to be specifically for lines in M9, M5, or Matrix Gold 3.5, or 3 and up, basically, uh, and then 3.8. So we'll talk about each one. They're just very, very slightly different. Not really much, but might as well just go ahead and knock this out of the park and just get all of them in uh, one go. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and grab a line, and we'll just drag a line out there so we can kind of watch everything, and we'll turn it to yellow so it's very easy to see. And as you can see, uh, I am in, I think... Uh, working shaded mode and if i go to any nothing change but if i go to wireframe by turning this off i get a thicker line so when i go to other modes it does not change but if i turn into wireframe uh you can see that it changes and if i click uh, on all of them uh it'll go to all uh right click on that right so if i right click it goes back to shaded if i right click on it it go they all go to wireframe and they're thicker so how to do that uh, you just go to your command line in matrix 9 i have mine at the top i uh, just type in options uh, and then go to, oh, let's get out of this so we can go all the way back to, this will pop up, right? You come all the way down into your view, uh, click on that drop down, and then go to uh, display mode will pop up, and then click on display mode, and then go to your wireframe. Uh, and then go to objects, uh, and then you can change per curves, points, surfaces, meshes, and, and all these are able to be able to uh, change to uh, thicker uh, uh, surfaces, right? So you can get them, any one of them, any and and in any mode that you want to change, you can change it in uh, pretty much any mode, I think. Uh, yeah right down here thickness right so you can you can go to uh most of my, and you can also change colors well that maybe not in this one i'm not sure let's go back to curves yeah use uh, objects color or you can go to use single color for all curves which will give you a color swatch uh, and then you can change all curves into uh whichever you you want right whatever color you want your curves to be in so you can kind of change that up as well and that's pretty much going through all of them uh there's some extra there's an extra feature i i think in matrix 3.8 but uh, i'm not sure exactly i haven't really dug into that one a little bit but if i go here and i click on here well actually i can just use this i think one is the default so if i switch it to one this will be your default lines and then if you, you can drag it uh go up as high as you want right so i'm just going to switch it back to four and go ahead and hit enter uh and accept that so that's basically how you do it in 3.9 let's bring up uh, 3.5 uh, and we'll grab a line here real quick again and we'll drag that out there and we'll change that to yellow so we can kind of see that and as you can see uh, I am in wireframe uh, if I go to any other mode uh, it'll change it or keep it back to its uh, default settings or their uh, plastic and I think rendered mode or what is that active viewport uh, active viewport shows it rent uh, plastic I think does not machine does not okay uh all right but some of them don't but if you go to wireframe i'll get the thicker lines it's basically the same thing just go back down to your uh command line type in options uh and same thing go down to your view go to your display modes uh, click on your display modes and you can have all the options here and in uh, matrix 3.5 you can see it's kind of grayed out i've kind of uh, done some modifications to it but if i click on that and i go to objects i can go to curves points or anything like that and change the size up uh, or color of uh, most of those options and i have curves and again i have it set at four so i can set it up or as low as i want right uh, so that's 
very easy to do, right? Okay, so let's go to 3.8. Uh, 3.8, pretty much the same thing. There is a little bit of difference, not very much at all. Uh, but might as well just go ahead and knock all three of these out at one time. <coughs> Again, go down to your command line, type in options, pull up your Rhino options. Uh, and then once this loads up, again, go down to your view, go to your display mode, and then again, and now in Matrix uh, 3.8, uh, they will be uh, blue, right? You modify them. So if we go in there uh, and hit wireframe that we can change it in, and we change it to objects, go to our curves, and we can change it here. Now here you have to uh, go in and actually uh, type it in. But now it's set at a 10. Uh, now let's let's see what a 50 does. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, and you can set it back to a four, right? Uh, and whatever size you want it. Now the reason why I have it is just because whenever I'm in wireframe, there's a lot of stuff out there. It just it seems to me uh, a lot easier to pick, uh, go get in there and know where those lines are at versus having it uh, that thin, right? So let's go back in here. I'm going to check that one more time. What did I set it at? Uh, four. That's pretty thick for four. Let's go ahead and hit OK. Go to my command line. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now it's back to the thicker line. But if I go to any others, it won't, right? So that's kind of how you set that in... Uh, Matrix set 3.8, 3.0, and all the way through to 3.5, and in Matrix 9. So hopefully that helps you and answers your questions. Uh, and now we have one specifically for lines. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching and good designing.